Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to check if there's any difference between wire racks of the smart bench. For that, the tools required are two measuring tapes, a scraper blade of some sorts and a two and a half mil Allen key. The setup is with the Z hat at the other end, far away, procedure similar to Y calibration, you want to slide the tapes under the carriage and extend them fully. The only difference is we're actually doing it on both sides. One thing you can do is put the tape just behind the legs so it doesn't come off. Things to watch out when doing that. But now the upper beam won't travel over it, so you want to stop before the end of the bench. Our well, tapes are almost there. So like I said, the head somewhere here. You don't want to go further than that as the stop bar will hit the end of the tape. Now we want to pick a start position. So I'll just choose one mil increments. And start from starting whatever number you find. So you want to be as close as possible to the end. But probably this is a safe zone. So you want to keep that distance. Anyway, if you try to go over that will actually push the stop bar in, so... Uh, something to keep in mind. Check your measurements. They should be fairly similar. Here a reference measurement. Yeah, so in my case, 240 and 239.9. Then we go back to console. And we enter the settings, settings, console, we enter the following command G91, G0, and Y2000. And that will travel 2000 millimeters now. We check where we stopped. 2,240, 2, which is good, and then we check if there's any difference on this side. Now, in my case here, I have probably, I would say, a 0.2 mil of a difference. So, as mentioned earlier, Allen key at the end of the bench on the end plate. There's a tiny hole inside there. There's a two and a half mil. Allen key hole. So depending on which way you are, you're either over or under the measurement. So in my case I'm over. What I want to do actually screw the grub screw in. Because I want to go that way. So for going moving the Y beam uh, X beam towards home end you need to screw in to move it uh, away from home end you need to unscrew so you need to place your again scraper against the beam and you do you do or undo the grub screw until you get with both sides to be on the same measurement Yep, so I am as the beginning, I'm 2,239 point roughly 9, so I'm not far off. Then we go back to console, on manual move, we take back our X beam and we just to double check that everything's still okay and we have 
haven't done something wrong again. Don't forget to stop before the end of the rail. Choose your starting point, whatever suits you. In my case, 220 on this side and 219 points roughly 8 on this side so let me just make sure yeah I would say that uh, then same thing go to console and repeat the command Two hundred twenty-two. Yes, and here we are. Two thousand two hundred nineteen point nine. So we're still point one off. If you want, you can try again and get it perfect. Things to note: actually, you always want to start as close as possible to the home position because the test is done on the on two meters basically so if you're too far in uh, you won't be able to achieve the travel necessary for uh, for the calibration at this point we're done you can remove the tapes and home the machine and carry on with the job you need to do thank you <laughs>